What is up everyone? I'm back with a new video and this one is going out to one of my subscribers. His name is Edible Enigma. Thanks brother for all the support. He's been asking me to do a video on cutting routines. So that's what I'm covering here today. Now in terms of cutting routines, I'm not going to dive in specifically in terms of providing with a program, reps, sets, every single weight that you're going to be using, nothing like that. But what I will be covering is three different things that you need in your cutting routine to make sure that it's effective, to make sure that you see the progress you want. All right, so check it out, stay tuned, watch till the end of the video because there's a lot of helpful information. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and you'll get all your fitness content right here. As you see, I respond to my subscribers. Thank you so much for all the support. Make sure that you comment down below. Let me know what else you'd like to see and I will make a video ASAP just for you. Let's dive into this video. First thing you're gonna need in this cutting program is, of course, a proper workout split. Now there's two workout splits I recommend. You got push-pull legs and you've got upper-lower splits. Now, I do have a video on workout splits in general going over beginner, intermediate, and advanced. If you guys haven't seen that yet, go ahead and click this link and it'll take you right to it. Basically, what we're looking at here for intermediate to advanced lifters is we're looking for push-pull legs or upper-lower. That way you're gonna get enough volume in each one of those muscle groups, okay? Both each half of the body, I should say, uh, to ensure that you keep stimulating the muscle and you preserve as much muscle as possible. Because we gotta face the reality here, everyone. When you're cutting and you've been lifting for a little while, generally over a year, you will probably be losing some muscle. You will probably be losing some strength. Oh, terrible, terrible. But you know, that's science and unfortunately there's not much we can do about it. However, we can work our asses off to retain and preserve the muscle while chiseling away at the fat, all right? So, workout split is key. Now, another thing that I'd like to say about this is you want to actually avoid small muscle group days or isolating muscle groups, for example, avoid and cut out arm days unless you're me of course in which case what what is this i need, I need the arm days kids a joke uh you know just having like let's say a shoulder day alone or an abs core day alone i would recommend adding all those things into that split so if you're doing uh push pull legs throw your arm days after your arm sets after let's say the push day and the pull day you can throw your abs after those days as well or after the leg day a reason why you don't want to do single muscle groups when cutting is because you want to stick with compound movements for the most part, okay? Big, heavy compound movements are going to support the body when cutting because it's going to release the most testosterone, the most growth hormone, okay? And it's going to keep you in the most anabolic state, which is very important when cutting. If you do little muscle groups like arms, you know, just shoulders, for example, or just, just chest, you're doing a lot of isolation, it's not gonna help you hold on to as much muscle as possible. Trust me, I know this from experience. Second thing that you're gonna need in your cardio routine, or I should say not in your cardio routine, but in your workout routine, is a cardio routine. Now, I have spoken about this before, but I do recommend high intensity interval training over low intensity steady state training for a few reasons. My favorite reason is it saves time. It gets it done a lot less time, and for somebody like me that doesn't have the patience, beautiful. Also. Time is money. Now, when doing your cardio routine, I recommend doing it at the end of the workouts, all right? Therefore, any rest days that you have away from the gym, just take them completely away from the gym and do the cardio after the workouts. Again, it's gonna be killing two birds with one stone. Doing the high intensity interval training is beneficial and you will not suffer as much muscle loss as doing, let's say, high intensity and staying there for a while or even low intensity steady state after your workouts, okay? Because it drags it out over such a long period of time that your body's just gonna be like, but I need some nutrients. I'm gonna be pulling out. Look, I need more of this muscle to make more gains or to keep myself alive. Now, the third and final thing that you're gonna need in your cutting routine is some sort of progression. Ah, don't I just sound like a broken record over here? But hey, I gotta do it. I gotta keep saying it. Track your workouts. Now, you wanna track the weights, the reps you're doing, that way that you can stay as close to that as possible throughout the cut. Like I said, you probably won't gain any strength, okay? You might gain a little, which is good. However, the goal here is to maintain strength, in which case, the RPE scale version of progression, which I just made a video on, click right here to go to that, that's gonna help you out as well. So you can choose 
either or track the weights diligently or go up RP base every time. So that is the main thing there. Those three factors are gonna help you in your cut, but again, you have to understand, you will incur some muscle loss, a very small amount if you follow these things. Uh, you will also lose some strength, you will get smaller, but that's the name of the game, all right? You wanna preserve as much as you can. It's not about building the muscle anymore. People say build muscle, lose fat at the same time. They're lying to you. I swear, I got everyone, I'm gonna convince everyone that everybody's lying to them except for me. Anyway, that's, that's actually kind of the way I feel. Anyway, so the goal here is to maintain as much muscle and strength as possible, therefore, mostly just fat that you're cutting, all right? Now, if you want any more tips on fat loss and weight loss, Click here to check out the other videos I've got on the channel about that. To summarize, the three things you want. One is the proper workout split. Two is a good cardiovascular program. And three is a progression system between the two of them. All right, I hope that helped everyone. If it did, go ahead and hit the like button, the thumbs up. Boom, cheers buds. Also, hit that subscribe button for all of your fitness content. If you haven't subscribed yet, you're missing out. And that'll be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it as always. See you guys in the next one. I'm out.